All you gotta do is turn around this corner and come down this little gravel road and look at this place. We're gonna take advantage of a night out on the town and we're not gonna spend a dollar. Okay, go We catch a fish in that creek. The only one that actually has has it that, that close. Mickey. So whether I'm in the great north coast, right here at home base, in the heart of the Sierra Nevada mountain range, Mammoth Lakes, California, I am quite spoiled because there's always so much to do in both of these places and really just quite an abundance of free entertainment. So come along with me this evening as we enjoy some free entertainment and travel our way around Mammoth Lakes using public transit. It is made small. It's really important for us to keep the history of Mammoth alive. That's, that's really what, what this is all about. The Hayden Cabin is a real special place. It's one of the last parts of real Mammoth that's left. It's just so rich in authenticity. A historical museum, the Hayden Cabin, is testimony to the bygone culture and rich history of the Mammoth Lakes area. Side note to the Hayden Cabin is Hayden's Temple of Folly, which is what this building was known as for a short period of time, I think between uh, 1887 and 1881. But what a great name for a bar. Hayden's Temple of Folly right here at the Hayden Cabin and the Mammoth Lakes History Museum and just uh, another wonderful place here in Mammoth. So we're gonna head inside right now and uh, listen to some music. Hang out by Mammoth Creek. Soak in the good life. It's a beautiful day. Don't let it get away. Dutch pink and Italian blue He is there waiting for you My way All right, so this is the Hayden Cabin, the Mammoth Museum, if you will, one of the historical monuments and locations right here in Mammoth Lakes that pays homage to our pioneer past and also some of the native history as well. One of my favorite places to come and hang out. It's right next to Mammoth Creek. It's just so rich in authenticity. Hayden Cabin right here in Mammoth Lakes, California. And our little museum as well. I'm happy to keep this place going. You know, to have people like Marge who's sitting there. Marge, wave at everybody. Marge is one of the best storytellers there is. So when you come, come down to visit the Hayden Cabin, she gives you the tour. But beyond just saying, you know, oh, here, this is a whatever. But Marge knows the story. So it's really important to us to have all of you guys become members tonight. So it's 35 bucks, best 35 bucks you can spend. You get invited to really cool things like this. We do several several good parties a year. It's really important for us to keep the history of Mammoth alive. That's that's really what, what this is all about. The Hayden Cabin is a real special place. It's one of the last parts of real Mammoth. But all you gotta do is turn around this corner and come down this little gravel road and look at this place. You got the creek right there. You can actually catch a fish in that creek. And there aren't very many museums in the United States where you could walk out the front door of the museum that, that close and catch a fish. We might be, we might be the only one that actually has, has it that, that close. All right, there you go, baby. Thank you very much. Now, one of the awesome things about Mammoth Lakes is the free town trolley and the opportunity you have to bring your dog along with you, as long as you have a muzzle. If you're enjoying what you're watching, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. It does a lot to grow this channel and hey, it might even help me get a better microphone. As I was saying before, Mammoth is a plethora 
of fun, outdoor, and free entertainment all throughout the summer and now going just past the summer up here at the village in Mammoth Lakes. So let's check out the action at the village. Are you guys having a good time? Make some noise. Also got some more koozies I'm giving away. You guys want some koozies? Come up. I'll give you a free koozie on the house. What's going on, y'all? Let's go. With money being pretty tight these days, and you know, we get a little bit of cabin fever being outside of town, a little removed from everything. It's nice that we can come in here to town, to Mammoth Lakes, and to uh, just spend some time hanging out and around the town, getting entertained, and uh, doing it all for free. Mickey. <laughs> very fortunate situation to live here in a place that provides so much outdoor entertainment, live entertainment, and all of it for free. Thank you for watching the Vic Meyer Show every Wednesday on YouTube. And remember, as always, when you're out there on the roads, keep it between the lines and look out for Smokey because they're looking out for you. And as always, Thank you for allowing me to entertain you, presumably. Again, this is the Vic Meyer Show every Wednesday on YouTube. This is. You know what I mean. Thank you to my Patreon members, Whitney, David, and David. And we'll see you next week right here on the Vic Meyer Show. Much love, everybody. I really can't be certain because I don't have confirmation but if I had to guess this looks a lot like the campsite that became infamous for the situation involving Victor the bear in which somebody thought standing on a stump was a good idea when a bear came into their camp but don't you worry I will have the true tale and story of Victor the Bear coming soon right here on the Vic Meyer show stay tuned I noticed that Dan McConnell's here tonight. Did you guys, did you know that? Lisa? No. Roland, did you, did you know Dan McConnell was here? Where is, uh, Dan McConnell, he's back there, look at that. You know, it's hard to believe he came out on his birthday like it is today. Happy birthday, Dan! Woo I think he's about 36, don't you? Stop.